Some person asking, where is God in this situation? As this is what took place at a gospel concert in Manchester. Now, I want to share the synopsis of this preacher speaking about Jezebel and how he felt to Jezebel ain't got nothing to do with no makeup and no lipstick and no short dress Can shalom family welcome back to prophetic rush tv no the art of man is indeed deceitful above all things and desperately wicked jeremiah 17 verse 9 say who can know it only god knows the art of these Jamaicans and the moral decadence that is taking place in our country and our nation family on a daily basis as we see crime to the 10 power in Jamaica continually. This is what is seen on the Jamaica Star today, viewers and subscribers. And I want to read this article. I wanted to drop your comment below and tell me what you think also. After which, you will see a synopsis of a preacher that speaks about a Jezebel spirit. Have you ever been antagonized by this demonic force? There's a lot of person who misunderstood what Jezebel is. This is a video for more clarity. Stay tuned. A few moments later. No, this is what the article says. I will read in an encrypted manner. Five persons were, you know what, outside of the venue of an annual gospel concert in Christiana, Manchester on Tuesday night. The police have confirmed the incident reported it took place about 10.50 p.m. as the Christmas Boxing Day holidays were coming to a close. The star understands that two men rode up on motorcycles and fired, you know what, indiscriminately at a gathering outside the venue, eating five persons. They were rushed to the hospital for treatment. The Manchester Police Division recorded an increase in persons injured in you know what attacks this year. As of December the 16th, there were 37 reports of injuries compared to 24 the previous year. The Corporate Communications Unit, CCU, of the police force says a probe has been launched into the latest you know what now viewers and subscribers these are some of the comments that are below the jamaica star and instagram in which people vent their frustration and their concern about what took place viewers and subscribers some ask if that is really a gospel concert that these individuals went and did this thing viewers and subscribers i'm glad that no one died but the thing that I see, the comment that I saw in the background family is this comment where somebody asks, where was God? I want to answer to this person and say, God has not changed his position. The sovereignty of God still remains in earth. Viewers and subscribers, the time will come where each individual has got to pay for all the things that they have done in this body. Let us continue and pray and trust God and to reach and reach souls for heaven as we look forward to the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Since Jezebel ain't got nothing to do with no makeup and no lipstick and no short dress, can I help you tonight? Jezebel is a spirit of control. It's a spirit of manipulation. It's a spirit of witchcraft. And a man can have a Jezebel spirit. Touch your name and tell them you got to learn how to praise. Well, I made some demons mad already. I need somebody to bahasha. Come on and get the head shake. Give God some praise because Jezebel has to die. That's a controlling spirit that has their own group and their own crew. And when they move, they crew move. And when they don't come to church, they crew don't come to church. And when they don't support, their crew don't support. But we come against that Jezebel spirit in the name of Jesus. Jezebel loses her power tonight. Now you got to be watchful because I've dealt with many Jezebels because I am a prophet. And the spirit of Jezebel is always attracted to the prophet because they come to squeeze life out of the prophetic ministry 
Jezebel's assignment is to hinder the preaching of the word of God. Jezebel's assignment is to tie up the gifts of the spirit. Most of us are deceived by Jezebel's spirit because let me tell you how Jezebel gets you because she didn't got me a couple of times. Come on, Bishop. Come on, help us. Jezebel is faithful. Jezebel comes to Bible class. Jezebel comes to Sunday school. Jezebel is a tither. Jezebel follows you to preach. Because most pastors are blinded by faithfulness. Because there's one thing all of us want is loyalty and faithfulness. So sometimes you can't even see Jezebel because she's always there. And that's important. People follow the spirit because it's always present. And you got to be careful how you take Jezebel down. Because you'll mess up and destroy the whole church just getting up preaching and rebuking Jezebel, which as, is as the spirit of witchcraft. You need wisdom to pray that demon out. Y'all don't want to have no church. So the neighbor say, this kind goeth out, but by prayer and fast. When God shows you Jezebel, you can't let Jezebel know that you see. Because if you move too soon, you're going to mess up. So you got to learn how to act like you don't know. Keep on preaching. Keep on praying. Keep on hugging. Keep on loving. <laughs> Grace and peace. <laughs> devil. I know. Touch your neighbor and say, smile at that devil and say, Grace and peace. 